So, uh, where are we right now? We are in my dark room. Next question. I guess it would be just, how did you acquire all this stuff? Um, stabbed a hobo and stole it from him. And then after that, my school closed down their photography uh, department. So um, at the end of the at the end of my senior year, our teacher was basically like, "Here's a dark room." Uh, so I got about more than five grand of photography, dark room supplies, as well as fine metal supplies. And I also got an airbrush set. So I got stuff from my school. So I'm guessing there aren't a lot of people out there that have their own dark rooms? Uh, no. I consider myself very lucky to have it. Um, Cause like, a, someone who can paint, you know, it's fairly easy to get paint. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it's, it's, any, it's any easier, obviously. Not, but yeah, cause you need, first of all, you need a an, uh, light, tight room, or just like I do, I just do it at night, and it's all dark. And then you need a larger, which can which can run you like five hundred or five thousand dollars. What are your thoughts on digital photography? I think it's, I think it's, um, I think it's a wonderful advancement in the technology. <laughs> no, what do you really think? It's a wonderful advancement. I think it's, I think it's just peachy. I think it's peachy that everyone can take a photo of a, of a flower really close up. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> and it's, I think that's probably the greatest thing we've ever done is, is that button. That button that says macro. And it's great. And it's wonderful. Uh, that, that's like, I mean, how else are we going to get better? I mean, that's like, what do we do now? You and I'm in the I'm in the dark room at my high school, and I'm looking at these photos, and um, I'm developing them. And you look at them, and it's the same thing every single time. Every single time you develop a photo, it's really really cool. It's basically just like magic. First time I ever did it when I was did a, a pinhole camera when I was, when I was a sophomore. And you're looking at this this tub of chemicals, and all of a sudden from white, which is just a white piece of paper, it becomes something that you you saw or captured and it's it's just time and it's just frozen and you created this from nothing it's like a, it's like a pet <laughs> it's like a, it's, I'm trying to think of something that that resembles this relationship uh, I guess you know I mean if it's, it's like a painter and a painting it's this weird respect because Michelangelo hated the Sistine Chapel he hated it because he was up there like eight hours 12 hours a day with paint in his face and he hated it, he just hated doing it, but everyone, it's his greatest known work, everyone knows it's like the biggest masterpiece in the world, and you can have a photo, and you could have loved it when you're taking it, but when you're done processing it, you could, could hate it, 
You can hate it with all your guts, but it's still you, and you still made it. And so it, it's this weird respect and this weird ownership you have. A painter paints a painting. Um, I take photos.